Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the YouTube and Volunteer Talk Show of SCI. This week we will be talking to Sara and Milica from the Create a Climate for Peace campaign. Hello Sara and welcome. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your role in SCI? Hi Ingrid and hello everybody. I'm the international coordinator of SCI and I'm working here in the office of Antwerp since about one year and a half. Uh, I'm following different activities and different projects. I'm supporting uh, all the action of uh, branches and working groups. And at the moment, I have to say I'm very busy with the Create a Climate for Peace campaign. And this Create a Climate for Peace campaign, so what is it about and, and why is SCI organizing it? So Create a Climate for Peace is the main campaign for SCI since 2014 on. It is a worldwide campaign and it involves activities all over uh, the world, in Europe of course, but also a lot of activity taking place in Asia, in Africa and in Latin America. Uh, this campaign uh, was created by two working groups, Gaia uh, initially and No More World Team, and it focused on peace and climate justice. As you all know, SCI was born in 1920 for responding to the challenges to peace uh, provoked by the war, First World War. And then it kept working all over, all along the year uh, to try to again work for peace facing the different challenges which were surrounding and changing with the time. And at the moment, the main challenge we can say it's uh, the climate change. And so as SCI, we want to find a way to react. Uh, to what is happening around us. And of course, there are many different ways and m many different things we can do. The first one is to reduce uh, our uh, negative impact on the planet, adopting a more sustainable lifestyle. But then we should also increase our positive impact on it, trying to support uh, communities which are already organized against climate change and for climate justice, and supporting local projects which are taking place in different areas. What is very important and is one of the main aim of the campaign is to try to increase the sense of belonging to a wider community. So to overcome this individualism, which is really uh, one of the characteristics of our culture nowadays, and to try to reason in a, in a broader way, taking care of our planet, because it's the only one we have. Yes, that's very true. And so can anyone just get involved in this campaign? And, and if so, how can they do that? Of course, we want everyone to be involved, both at individual and branch level. Uh, we want actually SCI volunteers to be the change they want to see in the world. And there are again many different ways for doing it. The first is for sure to try to get more information about what's going on and to raise awareness about it. And then try to uh, challenge and shift our behavior. So being more attentive to what we consume, what we buy, how we travel and all these kind of things, which do make a difference. And then one of the easy way for getting inspired and getting to know more about the campaign is to join one of the activity which are part of the campaign. And for example, we will have this year 25 work camps in Europe, Latin America, Asia and Africa. And you can find them on our website and clicking on www.workcamps.info. And uh, they are already labeled as part of the campaign, so it should be quite easy to, to get them. Perfect, thank you. And uh, we now uh, will talk to Melitza from the Balkans, who is actually going to talk about one of these work camps that are uh, labeled as Climate for Peace work camps. Hello, Melitza, are you there? Yes, hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank uh, you. Could, could you tell us a little bit more about yourself? So, as you said, I'm Milica. Uh, I am uh, working as an executive coordinator of Volunteer Center of Vojvodina, but within the campaign, uh, in a Create Climate for Peace campaign, I'm part of the prep team. And except the role uh, of the prep team, I also coordinate the activities in uh, Gaia Kosovo and the work camp that you are mentioning. Okay, thank you. And so in the Balkans, what, what will you be doing? What will you be organizing for the Create a Climate for Peace campaign? So we are organizing a work camp during the summer. It's going to happen in the end of July, uh, from 21st of July to 3rd of August. 
uh, we are planning to do it in the village Gračanica, that is 10 kilometers away from uh, the capital Pristina, where we are, we are going to organize different kind of workshops on climate and sustainable living, both creative and the practical. Uh, we want to do a lot of recycle art workshops to make simple pet patents on the solar energy, uh, do the gardening, composting, uh, to organize the movie screenings and everything connected uh, with the climate, uh, health and, and justice. Uh, the other thing that we also want to do is a parallel activity that is going to happen in the village Plemetina. Uh, both places that I mentioned, Gračanica and Plemetina, are close by the coal power plants that are causing the main uh, uh, issue. Uh, and uh, the local community in Plemetina is going to probably record a small uh, film uh, on the power plants and uh, ma make uh, photo shooting. So in the end of the work camp, on the last days, we are actually going to or organize a small event that is going to happen in Pristina, the capital of Kosovo, uh, where all the products, uh, uh, photography and films are going to be shown to the, to the public. Wow, that's, that's a lot of activities going on this summer in the Balkans. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be very busy. Yes. And um, is it possible for anyone to join these activities? Yes, of course, everybody are welcome, especially the ones who are interested in the topic and to contribute, but also the others that want to learn more about it uh, and also to exper experience the Kosovo. Uh, I will invite everybody to, to, to check our work camp that is published on the online placement system, OPS. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you go to the workcamps.info, you can find our work camp in the database and also much more information about other things. Okay, and also this work camp will have the Climate for Peace label, I imagine. Yes, yes, a and we already label it very proudly. <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you. Um, thank you very much, Milica. And uh, I have one more question for you, Sara, because I understand that next week the campaign will be officially launched with the Week of Action. So could you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, uh, yes, the campaign is developing basically every day thanks to the contribution of all the volunteers who want to take part in it. And we decided to launch it officially starting from next Monday. So we will have a week of action where all the branches will try to raise awareness about uh, the, the topic and about the campaign itself. So we will have different activity taking place. For example, uh, in Serbia, we will have a, a movie screening and debate and also a BCB crew will be invited to get vegan for one week. Then we will have a different activity taking place also in Nigeria, for example, where uh, the volunteers will organize a street action, trying to clean up the garbage from the street and again raising awareness about climate change. While in Sri Lanka we will have, for example, two days of work camp where local volunteers will work on organic farming together with people coming from different uh, uh, religious and ethnical backgrounds, so speaking once again about peace. In Russia, we will start a debate online on social media, and then there are many other things going on. And what is really interesting is that apart from the things that are happening on the week, we will collect all the information, so video report about uh, this week of action on the 14th of April. And you will find everything on our website. So stay tuned. Thank you very much. Yeah, and that website is www.sciint.org, where on the 14th of April, as Sarah said, you can find everything about the week of action. This is already the end of our talk show. Next week, we will be back with live interviews from the ASEAN platform meeting. And you can stay online a little bit longer to ask questions if you want on Twitter using hashtag volunteer talk or on facebook.com slash service civil international. It is also possible to send your questions by email to info at sciint.org. I hope to see you next week, 1 p.m. Central European time. Bye bye.